guys, <laughs> welcome to Audio with Alex. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys a bit of uh, Propellerhead's new software record. Um, I'm beta testing it currently. It's um, I'm just going to say it's a great program right off the bat. Uh, there's so many things that you can do with it. It's just amazing. And it really is directed more towards a musician than it is towards an engineer. But it also has the same tools that engineers would need. So it's really good, great for both. Um, first, I'm just going to press F5, which is your hotkey to your rack. Um, now, each, uh, each lane uh, pretty much has everything that you really need. You have your eight, um, effects sends uh, that you can turn on and off, depending on what, and you adjust the levels on. Um, on the far right, you see your master section. That doesn't move at all when you go to check out any of your other um, any of your other tracks here. Um, by the way, the, the thing at the top right here, this is just amazing in terms of organization, and so is this at the side. It just lets you see absolutely everything, and you can easily move throughout the board that way too as well. So um, you you can really do anything in terms of customizing customizing your board here. <sighs> All right, so what you have when you go up the board right here is um you have your master bus compression right here. And then you have all of your compression for each lane. You have your gates on each on each channel, um, all adjustable pretty much. Uh, and then you have your very intense EQ here. Um, this works amazingly, just just because there's so much you can do with it. Basically, what what you do is you just turn it on, um, and you have your bells for your highs and your lows, so you can really bring the highs or the lows out depending on what you're doing. Um, I don't know, I haven't really gotten into it too deep yet, I've just been doing some basic stuff, but it is an amazing program in terms of what you're doing. Um, I'm just going to press F6 now, and it'll take us to a rack. Um, there's a lot of great stuff on the rack here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it has Line 6 pod amps, uh, which actually give an amazing tone depending on what you're doing. But you can actually just mic a, an acoustic guitar and just throw one of those on and it'll sound absolutely amazing. Um, what you do is you have your master section right here and if we hit tabs just like reason. Uh, you'll see the backs of everything. Um, your master section goes through some some splitters and uh, some reverbs and stuff and EQ of course. Just just for uh, just to add extra little effects that you want on the whole master section of the song. Um, they also have some combinator stuff in here that they put in. It's, it's basically just like reason. So, you know, it, I don't know if you, if you want to play something, you know, like that, <laughs> you can just use your MIDI controller. Um, they also have these little, these little instrument devices, which are, they're basically like little mini reasons you can do. You just got some sounds. They, they can sound pretty realistic if you know what you're doing properly. Um, you have your bass amps. Again, you can you can choose between the amp, um, and you can actually choose a cabinet as well. So it really offers a wide variety of what you what you want, theoretically. Um, these are all the audio inputs. As you can see, it says no audio input. That's because this is just the demo song that I'm showing you guys, because it's got a lot more stuff than most of my songs that I've recorded so far. Um, as you can see, all the different guitar um, inputs are are going through the bass amp i'm pretty sure they're all the same yeah they are but that that's how you get it right um and over on this rack again you can have as many rack spaces if you as you want if if you need another space just drag it over boom there it is but i'm not gonna do that um right here they they have some they have a lot of stuff that they they've really gone all out with the drums here these are all different effects and stuff and whatnot that they put on the drums. Um, again, on your far right, you have this that really helps find where you are on your rack. Like, if you're over here and you want to get to a rack that's over here, you just, boom, right there. You're on the tube drums. Dreams, sorry. 
All right, an F7. Okay, my keyboard died. But if you go to F7, I'm going to have to do this manually. You get this. Boom. All right, so this is um, your editor. Um, or Ranger, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, probably how it calls it, I forget. Um, for this song, they've got really a lot of channels, which offers a lot of flexibility in terms of editing and mastering and whatnot. I'm just going to play this back, see what you guys think. So, as you can see, that's it, everything that's there that you see on the screen is there. Um, there's a lot of little things that they put in here that really do help. Um, or, as, for example, you can select a track or select a piece of a track here. Just go into edit. Uh, well, that's not really going to help you much. Uh, let's say you're here on the organ right here. We can edit this. We can we can do a lot here. Um, right now it's zoomed in. Uh, what I really like about it is instead of having those little zoom clicks that you see here and here, like they do in Raisin, you also have this thing down here, which uh, which is always going to be there. Um, it it lets you zoom out and in at however far you can see the whole song. You can see this much of the song, and then you can you can drag it wherever you want as well. Um, that's really handy. I just thought I'd show you guys that feature. <laughs> It's really good for editing stuff that's like like um, pattern drums that you've made on here or stuff like this, like this organ. Um, now what you can do is you can actually, what, what reasons that now is you can preview them out. Anyway, so that's what you can do with that. That's if you press F7. But my keyboard isn't working, so let's go back to the rack, and we'll play this again for you. As you can see, there's a lot of a lot of little things going on here. Uh, Overall, I'm not gonna get too into it, but overall, it's a great program that you that it's really gonna. It I, I hope this becomes industry standard, uh, like Pro Tools. I've worked with Pro Tools and and Logic and Cubase and stuff like that, and none of them really com compare at all in terms of productivity and and just easiness overall, and and how you do it and how you work and work and master your songs. Um, it really is an amazing program, and it really isn't a DAW because DAWs are usually boring and they don't have really interesting interfaces, and they're just. It feels like you're following a rule book when you use a DAW, but here you're just really. You're really on your own here. This is literally like having a giant mixer mixer in front of you, and you can, do whatever you please with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really just. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it. I'll get I'll, be, I'll get back to you on another video when I decide to record some uh, bigger sessions instead of like two track or three track acoustics that I've been doing recently. Um, all I can say is ten thumbs up. <laughs> good job, Propellerheads. Um, hope you enjoyed the show, guys. Have a good one.